The noise had always been for a little while that maybe be, this would be an asset for Disney to dispose of. Right. Well, if you remember, this started in July when Bob Iger said that, you know, maybe these traditional channels were no longer core to the business. And that set off a frenzy of uh, people looking at the assets who might be interested. And I think that the, the fact that there hadn't been any progress really since then got people thinking, well, maybe we can start a fire here. If you read the public comments that next star executives have given, they said, hey, you know, we're interested, Disney, but, you know, what's the real terms here? Because there are a lot of complications with buying a, a network like ABC. For example, you know, how do you handle the sports that ESPN sometimes simulcasts on ABC or all the shows that presumably Disney would still own that air on the networks? So, uh, so there's a lot of questions, but I think we're starting to see people starting to raise their hand and say, yes, I, uh, I might be interested in this. And it puts a little pressure on uh, Bob Iger to do something. What about at this moment when he's also trying to navigate strikes, writer strikes, actor strikes? How is that sort of conversation progressing? Well, again, it's, it's part of this all, uh, uh, you know, situation in media today where it, the, everyone knows it's shifting towards streaming. Uh, but the streaming business isn't profitable, and there are issues with labor. There's issues with uh, how do you produce the content. And uh, the traditional TV networks are losing viewers. And so that's, that's a long-term drag on the business. So do you keep them because they're making money now, and you can sort of run shows across the different platforms? Or do you sell and cash out? And that's, uh, that's what uh, Disney management and lots of other managements yeah. are wrestling in the media business with right now.